Hello everyone, and welcome. It's late at night right now, and no one asked for my opinion on this. But I'm a little sleep deprived, and a little stupid. So I feel like making a cheese tier list since I was on call and that's what we were talking about. So here are some, here's my cheese opinions. Starting off with cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese is a good baseline cheese. I'm gonna put it in A tier. It's a solid cheese. You know, you have sharp, you have different, you know, variants, but it's a good baseline cheese. It's good for like quesadillas, grilled cheese, things like that. It's a pretty solid cheese. Next up, we got American cheese. I'm going to put American cheese at A as well, but lower than cheddar. American cheese is it has its purpose. It's kind of a guilty pleasure kind of cheese. It's good for throwing at people. It's a pretty solid cheese. Okay, next up, we have pepper jack. I don't like pepper jack too much. It's, it's okay, but pepper jack is going to go in a solid B tier. Now, coming up on our first A tier, we have mozzarella. Mozzarella cheese is amazing. It's good for so many things. It tastes good. Fresh mozzarella. Mm, very good stuff. So following it up, we got Parmesan cheese. Super important for like certain dishes. It's very good. I would put it below mozzarella though. Or maybe maybe an eight. We'll put an eight. Top of eight for now. So next up we have provolone. I feel like provolone can go in A tier. It's a solid cheese. It's good for sandwiches. It's, I like I like Italian meats. I've been wanting Italian meats a lot recently, so provolone's gonna go up there because it goes great with Italian meats. Now for now we have we have goat cheese. I don't like goat cheese. I don't like goat anything. I don't like things that goats make. Not even their meat, really. So he's gonna go in D tier. We have. Ricotta cheese. Ricotta cheese is okay. They put some pepper on it. It's pretty good. No, wait. This is cottage cheese. My bad. This is cottage cheese. This is ricotta. Ricotta cheese is okay. It's okay in like salads and stuff, but it's not amazing. Now we have Gouda. Gouda is above pepper jack. But it's not that great in my opinion. Then we got... Colby Jack cheese. Colby is my no. It goes, it goes at the tippy top. Yeah, we'll put it at the top. This is my go-to cheese for everything: for sandwiches, grilled cheeses. It's my go-to cheese. I feel like cheddar needs to be above Parmesan. Yeah, there we go. It's great. It's good for a lot of things. Solid cheese. We have Swiss. Swiss is okay as well. Um, I'll put it. Put it right there. It's above pepper, pepper Jack. Not as good as Gouda. Not as good as American. I'm excluding a lot of cheeses because I can't think of the cheeses right now. And also, a lot of them are like moldy. The only cheese I like moldy is the one that has like the mites in it and stuff. But that's banned in America, so I guess I don't even get to eat it. So last week we have cream cheese. Now cream cheese might seem a little weird to put on the list. But it's going in S tier. And the reason for this is because baking. You can use it in a lot of stuff in baking. It tastes really good. You put on bagels. You can mix maple syrup with it. It tastes really good. And I'm probably forgetting cheeses that I'll regret later. I'm not putting on here. But I think I got the important ones. So yeah, this is my cheese tier list. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments. And, and thanks for watching.